hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a payment method to your google adsense account i'm going to be showing you guys how you can add your bank account to your google adsense account adding your payment method on your bank account to your google adsense account is the next step to take after you must have verified your identity and also verified your address so guys i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it explaining everything you need to know about adding your payment method so guys it's actually easy just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if you're new to it YouTube channel don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment as that will tremendously help grow our youtube channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys what i have to do right away now is to log into my google adsense account so let me tap on my browser now once my browser opens up what i have to search for is adsense.google.com so guys let me search for adsense.google.com so guys let me type it in adsense.google.com so guys can see right there so let me tap on enter below let me tap on it so guys the next step now to take to sign in is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top left corner so let me tap on it then let me tap on sign in down there you can see the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see signing me to my google adsense account let's just wait for a few seconds so guys now you can see i'm on the home page of my google adsense account so guys for those who have gotten to the payment threshold which is usually hundred dollar for you to actually add your payment method is easy so guys what you have to do now is to look out for a notification at the top of your home page so guys you can see notification there in red let me zoom in now so you see it let me zoom in let me zoom in again so guys now you can see the notification there you can see let me read it out loud action required let me zoom in one more time so guys can see what is written there action required let me swipe to the right now so you see what is there let me swipe you can see let me swipe you can see there is something to check in your adsense for youtube payments account let me swipe to the end you can see they said go to payment so guys now for you to add your payment method or your bank account what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written go to payments so once you tap on it it's going to direct you to where you can add your bank account and your payment method but guys i'm not going to be following this method because this method is only for those who have gotten to the payment threshold of hundred dollars if you haven't gotten to the payment threshold of hundred dollars you will not be able to find that notification there at the top of the home page of your google adsense account i can find the notification here in my google adsense page because i've actually gotten to the payment threshold of hundred dollars so guys if you have not end up to hundred dollars payment threshold you will not see that notification there at the top of your home page so guys for the sake of those who have not gotten the hundred dollars who have not met the payment threshold i will show you guys the normal way so that everyone will be carried along i will show you guys the normal way this way here yeah, this notification there is actually a shortcut so let me show you guys the normal way that you can actually add a payment method or your bank account to your google adsense account so that you can receive your payments and your earning on your youtube and your website so guys what you have to do now to follow the normal way to add your payment method or your bank account is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top left corner you can see there the arrow is pointing at it let me zoom in so you see it clearly let me zoom in again so guys now you can see the three horizontal bar clearly you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see payments you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see payments info you can see it there so let me tap on it So guys now you can see the notification that we saw earlier on on our google adsense home page you can see it here again you can see there the arrow is pointing at it but guys that's not the way we are going to follow so guys now for you to add your payment method or your bank account what you have to do now is to tap on that red box you can see what is written there to receive payout please choose a valid payment method so guys can see there the arrow is pointing at it just tap on it then you begin the process of adding your payment method but guys there's another way let me scroll downward to show you guys let me scroll downwards so guys now you can see where it is written add payment method if you tap on that you will also go through the process of adding your payment method so guys you see that you're tapping on this add payment method or you're tapping on this red box here where it is written to receive payouts please choose a valid payment method so guys you see that you're tapping on this one right here or you're tapping on this add payment method down here so guys whichever one you tap on will lead you to the same place let me show you guys let me tap on add payment method you can see that the arrow is pointing at it let me tap on it so guys now you can see where it has brought us to you can see what is written there add payment method so let me go back now to tap on the red box to see where it's going to take us if it's going to take us to this same place so let me go back so guys now you can see i'm back here so let me tap on this red box now let me tap on it 
so you guys now you can see where it has brought us to you can see what is written there no payment method yet so guys what they have to do now is to tap on where it is written add payment method you can see that they are responding at it so let me tap on it wow guys can see it has brought us to the same place like i said earlier on so guys now you can see so whichever one you tap on will lead you to this place so guys now the next step that you have to take now is to choose your payment method you can see here they have two payment method you can see the first one is add new wire transfer details so guys if you want to receive your earnings from youtube or your website through wire transfer all you have to do is to choose the first option or in case you want to receive your earnings through paycheck through checks what you have to do is to tap on the second option so guys the payment method option i'm going for is the first one because i prefer wire transfer for some other person they may prefer check but i think the wire transfer is preferable so guys now let me tap on the first option which is add wire transfer details so let me tap on it right away so guys what you have to do now is to scroll downwards so guys now you can see what is written here to receive payouts by wire transfer contact your bank for exchange rate and fees bank accounts must be located in nigeria and in us dollar currency so guys that's a very important note you cannot use a naira account to receive dollars so don't use any bank account that uses your local currency in your country you have to create a dollar account in your country so what you have to do is to go to any bank in your country then you create a dollar account so guys it's very important you can only use a dollar account to receive dollar you cannot use your local currency bank account to receive dollar so guys, that being said the next step now is to add your beneficiary id so as you can see that's actually optional so guys now let me go back to the next one you can see it name on bank account so guys what you have to do now is to add the name that you use in opening your bank account so guys let me add my name now let me add my name right away let me add my name so guys now you can see i've added my name that's my bank account name so guys now the next step you have to take now is to go back to the next option which is bank name so guys you have to impute your bank name for me the bank i use is united bank for africa for short uba so guys let me add this right away united bank for africa so guys now you can see i've added the name on my bank account and also i've added the name of my bank so guys now the next step you have to take now is to add your bank swift bic you can see there swift bic is also called swift code so guys now for you to get your swift code you can either go to your bank physically to any bank that you want to use to create your dollar account you can go to the bank to ask for their swift code or you can actually look for the swift code in your internet in your browser so guys in case you want to know more about the swift bic or the swift code of your bank all you have to do now is to tap on that information icon on the right hand side you can see the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see what is written here the swift bic often just called bic is an 8 or 11 character identification code for a particular bank so guys the swift bic or the swift code of any bank is an 8 or 11 character identification code i'm going to explain that as we go on in this video so guys now let me continue reading what it looks like your bank swift bic may be printed at the top of your bank statement so guys want to know what it looks like just go at the top of your bank statement you're going to see your bank swift code there or you can contact your bank to get their code so guys let me continue reading what it is for banks use swift bic's when they transfer money or send a message to another bank so guys now i've been able now to know a bit about swift bic so guys let me show you guys how you can actually find the swift code for any bank at all so guys for you to do that what you have to do now is to go over to the website i'm going to be recommending to you guys i'm going to be leaving a link to a website that you can use to check the swift code of any bank at all once you tap on the link it will direct you to the website they'll be able to check the swift code for any bank at all so guys now let me go over to the website right away let me open a new tab let me tap on the plus icon there at the top then let me paste the link to the website let me search out the website let me paste it then let me tap on enter so guys now you can see the website is loading so guys now you can see here is the website you can see what is written there swift slash bic code so guys you can use this website to do two things you can actually use the website to check if a swift code is correct and you can also use the website to find a swift code for any bank at all you can see the first option check a swift code enter a swift code to check if it's correct and to find out which banks it belongs to you can see the second one find a swift code just fill in the country and the account details below so guys now what you have to do now in order to find your swift code is to use the second option here so guys what you have to do now is to impute your country so let me impute my country my country is nigeria so let me look for nigeria quick let me look for nigeria very fast so guys can see 
I've selected Nigeria. So guys, the next step now you have to take now is to type in the name of your bank. So let me type in United Bank for Africa. Let me type it real fast. United Bank for Africa. So guys can see it there. So let me select it. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to select your city. So let me select my city. Let me tap on it. Then my city is Port Harcourt. Let me look for Port Harcourt real quick. Then let me tap on Port Harcourt. So guys, now you can see I've selected my country. I've selected my bank name and also my city. So guys, all you have to do now is to tap on Find Swift Code. So guys, let me tap on it right away. So guys, now let me scroll down to see the result of this search. Let me scroll down. Wow, guys, you can see this is the Swift Code. So what you have to do right away now is to tap on Copy. You can see where it is written Copy. So guys, like I said before, the Swift Code either contains its alphabet or it contains its alphabet with three digits. So guys, like you can see here, the its alphabet is there, but you can see the digits are not there, the three digits are not there. The three digits is usually a code for a particular branch in the UBA. You can see there, they didn't give us a particular branch, but you don't need it, it's not important. What you need is actually the its alphabet. That its alphabet is a code for any United Bank of Africa branch in Nigeria. But that three digits at the end of the code is to specify which particular branch of UBA is that. But guys, you don't need that. That's why you can see there, the three last digits is represented with XXX. So guys, what you have to do now is to copy it. Then when you want to go and paste it there, you erase the XXX and leave just the alphabets. So guys, now let me tap on copy. So guys, now you can see I've copied it. So guys, now let me show you guys another way that you can actually use to check the Swift code of the bank that you use. Apart from using this website, what you have to do now is to go over to your browser. Then you search for the Swift code of your bank. Let me search for the Swift code of United Bank of Africa. Let me search for it. Swift code of united bank of africa then let me tap on enter so guys now you can see that's the result of my search you can see they've been encycled you can see they gave us the eight alphabet which is actually what you need and also if you want to find the swift code of a particular bank maybe in river state port what you have to do now is to add the city so let me add the city to this my search let me add in port Harcourt. then let me tap enter so guys, now you can see here are the search results. So let me look for a particular branch. So guys can see here, this is a Transamadi branch. So let me tap on it so you see it. Let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see this is the Swift code for this particular branch. As you can see there, the three digits is at the end of the code. You can see it there, 083. That's the Swift code for that particular branch. So let me scroll down now to show you guys, to show you more explanation. So guys, now you can see United Bank for Africa PLC. You can see what that UNAF means. It means the bank code. You can see the ng means your country code you can see the la means your location code then the last three digits means the branch code so you don't need that at all what you need actually is the eight alphabet the eight alphabet but if you want to use the eight alphabet with the digit attached to it you can also use it some persons use the swift code with the three digits added to it with the branch code while some persons use it without the branch code so whichever one that you use will work out fine for you but guys i'm going to be using just the eight alphabets leaving out the branch code which is the three digit code at the end of the code so guys now i've been able now to show you guys how you can be able to get a swift code of any bank at all using these two methods so guys now let me go back to my google adsense account now to continue with adding my payment method let me go back then let me tap on google adsense so guys now you can see my google adsense account is opening again so guys let me go ahead now to add the swift code to the swift bic i just copied from that website let me copy and paste it right away then let me cancel the xxs i need just the alphabet so guys now the next step now to take now is to add your account number so let me go back to the account number so guys in case you don't have a domiciliary account or you don't have a dollar account you can open a domiciliary account in two ways you can either do that by going to any fiscal bank around your area to open a domiciliary account or you can open a domiciliary account online without going to the bank you can do that online you can go to the bank website to open a domiciliary account so guys i might be making videos on that on how you can actually open a domiciliary account in any bank online or offline if i get much requests from the comment section for me to make the video then i have to make the video quickly so guys let me go ahead now to impute my domiciliary bank account number so let me type it in let me paste it so guys now i can see i pasted my domiciliary bank account number so guys you can see next now they're asking you to retype your bank account number so guys let me put it in let me retype it let me just paste it 
So guys, now the next step that you have to take now is to decide whether this payment method you're adding will be your primary payment method. So guys, I want this payment method to be my primary payment method. So that's why you can see that that box there is ticked. But if you don't want it to be your primary payment method, what you have to do now is to untick or unmark that box. So guys, let me unmark it so you see it. So guys can see it have on market but i want this bank account this payment method to be my primary payment method so let me tick it now so guys now after that now what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written save but before i do that let me get to read what is written under where it is written set as primary method let me zoom in you can see it there this payment method may need to be verified if you make this your primary payment method payments may be delayed so guys you can see you don't have to bother about your payments being delayed as far as your bank details are all correct you will surely receive your money because youtube or google assets will have to verify if the account is correct with your local bank so guys that being said what you have to do now is to tap on save so let me tap on this right away so guys before i do that you can see where it is written intermediary bank and also ffc or fbo so guys can see that in cycle area them so guys now those options are actually optional so guys what you have to do now is to go over to your bank to ask them if they have an intermediary bank or a ffc or fbo so guys let me tap on it now to show you guys that they are actually optional so let me tap on intermediary bank so guys now you can see they said ask your bank if your wire transfer is going through an intermediary bank it must be based in the united states so guys can see it's actually optional so let me go over to the ffc or fbo so let me tap on it so guys now you can see it's also optional so guys that being said now i've been able now to show you guys that those two features are actually optional you don't need it so guys now let me go ahead now to save this my payment method so guys now you can see where they are responding that let me tap on save so guys now you can see saving my payment method let's just wait a few seconds then we are good wow guys you can see our payment method has been added our bank account has been added now i can now receive my earning to this my bank account you can see what is written there wire transfer to the bank account you can see that's my bank name that's my bank account so guys now this i can actually add the payment method or your bank account to your google adsense account to receive your earning from your youtube channel or from your website so guys in case you want to add other payment method all you have to do now is to tap on where it is written add payment method then you'll be able to add other payment method so guys that's how it's done so guys i've come to the end of this video and i believe you got value from this if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever i release a new video like this you're gonna get notified see you in the next upload bye bye peace